Who the heck is that? I don't know. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Uh, I don't know if you yeah, have it, but sure. Many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Oh, we got the as you wish thing. Huh. You are most kind. See. Oh, so just, okay. Um. So before you go into Stormvale, we talked to her there. We did. Yeah. Oh. Um. The next is before. Wait a minute. I'm eating a sandwich. Just for everyone to know. Thank you. <clears throat> I thought it was like necessary info. At the Third Church of America. Where's that? Uh. I don't know. I think that one is in, um, uh, Kaner. Or, Kaner's. That's from Bloodborne. Um. That lava area over to the right. Oh, you think it's in there? I thought it was that area near where we fought the dragon. Okay, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, here she is. Oh. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord, and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Okay. Do we have to talk to her again? I think that was it. Let's maybe do rest at again and see if she appears again. <clears throat> she's kind of a... Yeah, she's not there anymore. Interesting character. Yeah. Did you notice that her one eye is closed and Ronnie has, I think, the opposite eye closed? Oh, I did not notice that, actually. <clears throat> Where's the Church of Pilgrimage? That one I don't know. You know, if you hit triangle... I think you can see some of these, but... Oh. Probably the ones we only found, though. Mm-hmm. Church of the <laughs> Cock. <laughs> so we probably haven't found this one. I'll be done with my sandwich in just a minute. Okay. It's very good. That's good. I'm glad that you are really into your sandwich. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is... Right there. Oh. Did we bite beaten Morgot? The fell omen? Morgot the omen king. No. Okay, because... Is it there? <clears throat> apparently you can summon for that battle. You can summon her for that battle. But you have to, like, talk to her these times. I think we should upgrade the mimic tier. Yeah. Which we'll have to go back to the round table for that. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea to me. So let's see if we can get the Sight of Grace here. Yeah, there it is. Huh. I feel like we've been here, but maybe we haven't. We might have run right by. Okay. Well, now talk to Melina. Yeah. Talk to Melanoma. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. 
Shall I share them with you? Jim, she's hot. In America, she kind of reminds me of Emma Stone. Or Emma Stone, Emma Watson. After like, I, I did, yeah. I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. So, it's odd how you can just miss all these. Yeah, I don't really get that. I think the next one, I don't think we've gotten to even yet. Oh, really? It's something that is like a huge castle. Oh. That I don't even really see on the map at all. Huh. Uh, go back to Ronnie's Rise. Okay. I will in one second. Right. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Have you noticed, by the way, that she has two faces? She has her face and she has the spirit oh, face next to her. I just noticed that now, actually. It's pretty cool. I noticed it because of Rule 34 art I looked up with this character, I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it? You may go. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. No. What is it? I, too, okay. am... I don't want to go. I wish I could write wife on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Big chest, Ed. I'm going to check on, um, real quick, this Celevis guy. Okay. Because he was kind of being a dick before, and I kind of want to see how angry <clears throat> he is that we helped... Uh, Ronnie. We helped Bay out, and he couldn't. Right. <laughs> he hasn't done jack shit. Begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. Also, oh, he just wants to study sorcery. Should we ask him about Nephili or no? <clears throat> I think we already did, but we can try again. So, you had Nephili drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. I thought this was where I went, Renna's Rise. Yeah, it's supposed to open. It's not open. Um, if you examine it, does it open? It's a blocked shut. Oh. Blocked shut for now. I don't know, maybe go back to Ronnie's thing? Maybe we didn't exhaust the dialogue or something? But I did exhaust her dialogue. I thought so too. <laughs> it says, absolve your sins at the Church of Vows. I slapped Saluvis and it won't let me progress. <laughs> Nate, look. <laughs> nice. Right, you know what, and actually I'm really happy he's Captain America. Yeah, he's awesome. I love it. I love Sam, he's awesome. And, um... It's one of those things, too, where I think that it's very different depending on what you're saying and the intent of saying it. I think that when I originally said this, this was years ago, and I said it to somebody and I really offended them. They were gay, and I was white. Well, and I was, yeah, I was straight even? and white, okay? I was, <laughs> anyone who's black is gay. No. I was straight, and they were gay, and I somebody asked this same question you're asking. Oh, it's the Pope! 
<laughs> cool. <laughs> and I had an answer that was not good, which I'll tell you in a minute. You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The Order of the Erdry and the Fate of the Moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the Church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. How do you fix? Well, what sorcery does he need to give? I, I will check in a second, but I was gonna like try and. Okay. I don't need absolution. Okay. All right. Is there something else? Uh, yeah. Study sorcery. Oh, okay. He knows magic glint blade. Oh, we can't even buy the other one. Uh, what about incantations? He knows blessings, boom. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. Alright, well we're gonna leave for now. Uh, although, can I... Uh, There's a chest. He said I can take whatever I find. Oh, gold nice. sewing needle, gold tailoring tools. Okay. Interesting. I was just gonna say that, um, one, I don't know what to do for this quest, because I thought we had to atone our sins to get Rena's Rise to open. Mm -hmm. So now I'm kind of at a loss. Uh, my views on this have changed quite a bit over time, where I used to think that it was unimportant, to be completely honest with you. Like, I used to think it must be unimportant for, uh, you know, representation to exist. Like, who, mm -hmm. could, who could need this? And over time, I think I've really started to change my view on that uh, to... I think it should exist, actually, but I think that it should exist authentically. You know, because right. in the past, I would say that I thought, like, it was stupid. Mm -hmm. But it's not to be mean. I'm saying me years ago. I thought, like, this is dumb. Who could possibly need this? Who cares? But it is important to realize that we do see it every day, like you and me. Like, we see the Peter Parkers. We see, like, the people who look like us. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people who don't see that. I, I also do think there is value in finding that human connection without that. Like, I, I genuinely do think if you can't find that, there's an issue, no matter who you are. If you can't look at Jon Stewart and say, hey, a human being, he's like me, and instead you're like, ugh, he's black. Right. It's like, okay, well, there's yeah. a problem here. Like, why, why are we doing that? And I do think that there are some people who actually do look at white fictional characters that way, and I think that's a problem, too, where they're like, he'd be better if he was black. It's like, I don't... Woody? 
Like, isn't that saying something about why do you, why do you think that way? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of my problem with it is I just want them to try and respect the source material of who is who and go from there. And then on top of that, I want different characters to exist, but them to be accessible to everyone. I think if you think that you are part black and part, La- part Latino and you own Miles Morales, you're an asshole. Right. If I'm white and I think I own Peter Parker, like black people, they can't have him. You know what I mean? Like they, they can't empathize with him. They're, I'm an asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, can I open this or am I going to get in trouble? I think you can open it. Um, you know, I, I just think that you have to be careful kind of where you take this stuff because I think that it very quickly devolves into something that actively is racist, no matter who you are. Right. And I think that there's a difference between wanting people to respect source so material. This is where we have to go, but this will teleport us to a different place, so we probably want to just go save. Okay. Um, at the... Yeah. So I'm going to save here at okay. Ronnie's Chamber real quick. Um, you know, this is something where I think you just have to be careful kind of how you're viewing it. Not you, but anybody. And I think that there is a wrong way to view it for anyone. And to me, that's like when you can't empathize with or understand a character regardless of who they are. And I think it's really disingenuous, really quick, because I know you have to leave, for people to say, like, you want the source material to be the way it is. Like, imagine if I was the Russo brothers and I introduced Sam Wilson and he's white. Mm Mm-hmm. And someone's mad at me. Okay, well, that's because I changed source material from what it was. And sometimes you can do that, and sometimes it works. Right, like with Catwoman. But there's a lot of times where it doesn't work, or like it just comes off rude or douchey or whatever. And I think that it is disingenuous to paint anyone who doesn't connect with wanting that change as a racist. 